Hello everyone and today we are going to be taking down my month old faux locks. They have been in for a whole month at this point and they is ready to go, okay? So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest method to get there so that you don't cut your hair like I've done twice now. Uh, so without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so normally I would start in the back because that's just how I do things. I don't know, I have a good reason for that. But I'm gonna start in the front so that I can show you guys better. Plot twist, I'm not starting in the front, I'm starting in the back. But feel around at the root for where the fake hair and your hair separate. You might not find it at first, but it's definitely there. Dig your braid out if you have to. And then literally pull your braid out of the faux lock and then cut the faux lock at the root. Super simple. Won't, won't cut your own hair and you shouldn't have any accidents. conditioning my hair and whatnot while I was in these, but I was not, um, so now I'm going to look at the consequences of that, so condition your hair while it's in its protective style so that it can actually protect your hair. I'm a bad role model to try and get on here and be a natural influencer, I don't really know how that's going to work, but yeah. And we're back and I look crazy. They're also banded. If they said these fall on all oh, type of ways, baby. What? Oh man. But I'm down to the last couple. Um, I was doing these actually without a mirror because you don't really need it. When you do the method, you don't really need a mirror to cut the hair because you can clearly tell what's your hair and what's not. But with the ones, because girl, I want to tell y'all, my edges is gone. It is a lot thinner than the rest of my hair. So I'll be needing a look. So if you run into one that just doesn't want to be your friend, just cut it and honestly work your way back up as if it was like a braid. Um, so yeah, but just make sure you cut way lower than like where you actually think your hair is. Um, I kind of have a little cheat because the bottom of my hair is brown so I can easily tell what's my hair and what's not. But if your hair is not like that, then be super, super careful. Got that one. See y'all broken. I dyed my hair and I wasn't ready to take care of it the way that you need to take care of your hair when you dye it. So yeah. Take care of your hair after you dye it. Make sure you deep condition every week. And obviously I did good in some parts because a lot of it is fine, but the parts of your hair that were already weak, 
Ooh, the last two. <laughs> Y'all, this looks so crazy. Like, I wish I could like straighten them out so we could see what they look like. But oh, take care, y'all. I thought. I didn't think my hair grew at first, but now that they're down, I definitely do think my hair has grown. I guess I should have known it's been a whole month, literally, so I said, but I literally oiled my hair like twice throughout that whole time. Like, I don't know why I did my hair that bogus, but that's just what happened. So yeah, but like I said, my edges, they grow back now. So like this area right here, it's like broken off as you can see, but the braid and the root are growing in good. So we're making a comeback. so crazy like this but that's okay so I originally was going to take them down completely but now that it's like I didn't I mean like I guess I should have thought about this but I didn't think it was gonna be this crinkly so I my braid out was gonna look so weird yeah so the braid out was gonna look super all over the place because this is how it looks right now so instead what i'm going to do is stretch them to try and get them back to like a regular kind of um kind of uh, a regular what am i thinking of a regular like straight a regular straight a regular pattern there we go a regular pattern i, have, I don't even have no water right here so i'm gonna use the miel's this spray and i'm gonna just spray all of them because they're definitely dry that's what i will say my hair is like i said y'all it's been a month and i was even oiling my scalp for real so these puppies is dry so make sure you get all of them and the ends is what's most important because Especially mine, that's what was going through it. Cause I know all of my ends weren't even perfectly covered cause I didn't do this that well. So it was cute though, know that. And then for your little baby tiny ones, make sure you get those. Just essentially make sure you don't miss any parts of your head. Um, I'm gonna get them pretty saturated Cause like I mentioned, my hair was like very dry. So they definitely need this. All right, I think that we're good. They feel, they all feel like they got some. So next I'm gonna take this moisturizing hair butter also by Miel. I'm just gonna take like this much, rub it in, and then just put it on my hair. So, as you can see, they've already started to calm down. They're not as wild as they just were. And then I'm gonna just tie it, and I'm gonna kind of work my way down the ponytail. I'm actually just gonna throw it in a bun because I realized 
I'm not gonna be able to wear the braid out, so it doesn't really matter what I do, but it just needed to be moisturized. And I'm gonna throw on my bonnet, what I should have been throwing on this whole time, but I wasn't. And yeah, now we're done. So thanks for watching me. I am gonna do a video when I actually take the braids down. So if you wanna see what they look like and how much shedding I got, be sure to tune into that one. But thanks so much for watching this video. Hope you guys learned a lot and were able to take your faux locks down. Your faux locks down. Uh, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. And comment down below any videos you would like to see me do. Bye.